Let's say you get into a firefight. Uh-oh, you ran dry. Now what? Drop the magazine. Sometimes it won't drop all the way. Swipe it out. Put the new one in there. Make sure it's seated. Send the bolt home. You're back in the fight. Pretty simple stuff, really. As you saw, it did have a malfunction. It didn't drop out, so I had to come over and swipe it. So make sure you train yourself to be ready for something like that to happen. It doesn't work the same as it does in the movies. Not everything's perfect. So let's see how we do it with the pistol. If you're like most folks, especially here in America, you're going to have a gun by the bedside table, and that gun, nine times out of ten, is going to be a pistol. So again, if something goes bump in the night, and you go to grab your pistol, and you engage, uh-oh, you ran out. Again, like we talked about earlier, it's not a bad idea to grab that spare magazine and throw it in your pocket or something. You're probably not going to be wearing a gun belt. Throw it in your pocket or in your robe pocket or whatever. Drop the mag. Grab another one. Put it in there, and it's ready to go again. It's that simple. It's that easy. It's that fast. And you're back in the fight. Just like that. It's really good practice to go out to the range and practice this stuff because, who knows, your life might depend on it. Okay, last but not least, if you just happen to be one of those people who is super well prepared or, hell, you might be a security guard or who knows, this might benefit you, I don't know. This isn't some kind of training thing, okay? I'm just showing you some basic stuff that I know might be helpful to Joe Q shooter, you know, whatever. But anyway, if you happen to be one of those people that happens to have a rifle and a pistol, remember, malfunctions can and will happen at the worst times. Or you can run dry in the middle of you know, like the craziest fight of your life. So you'll want to keep in mind if you happen to be super prepared and you have a rifle and a pistol handy, know how to do that transition and figure out what's going on with your primary weapon so you can get that back up and run it. I need to reload, got a lull in the fight. All right, now we got a malfunction not dropping out work through it work through it send the bolt home you're ready you're back in the fight and that's the high and low of it about as easily explained as it can be for doing transition stuff you can do transition drills in your backyard at the shooting range wherever they allow it anyway 